Well, it is 10 o'clock on Friday the 26th of March and good morning everyone. How lovely of it of you all to join us. It's I'm delighted that we, we've got so many of you. You join coming along this morning. Blustery spring sunshine in Cambridge, and I hope it's all well with you wherever you are. University of Health and Medical Libraries Group Spring Forum is now open. <laughs> I was just thinking back to this time last year when A, the, the lockdown had just happened, and B, we were building up to, to the first. Um, uh, UHMLG Spring Forum via Zoom and just how much of a seat of our pants, oh my god, will this new crazy technology work and all of that, how that all felt as a, as a first adventure into Zoom conferences and it all happened, it all went very smoothly, it was very exciting and now it just feels like so old hat, doesn't it? How far we've all come in a year and it, at a point in time when there's been a great deal of reflection for a whole number of different reasons and a great deal to think about, it feels a, yeah, a very interesting time for us all. And I hope that everybody's kept well and that they are well and that it's, it's just lovely to have you join us. University Health and Medical Library Spring Forum is all about building back better at this point of one year anniversary and at the point of starting to look forward to spring and to a change in the lockdown circumstances and everything else, everything that we've gone through and the adjustments and the changes that we've all had to make suddenly start to feel right, well, what are we going to keep? Is there anything that's good that's come out of this that we can really make use of? If changes happen that we will definitely want to keep or will we be returning and ditching them as fast as we possibly can? And Hopefully masks and social distancing will be one of the things that we ditch sometime soon, hopefully, but there may be other positive things that have come out of it. And I'm delighted to have four really, really interesting speakers to, to join us today. We're thinking of it from a range of different perspectives. We're trying to think about how we might build back better, what we might keep, what we might uh, develop in, and expand on in future. We're thinking of it from a whole library perspective and I'm delighted to have Anna O'Neill with us this morning to talk about that from University of Southampton. We're thinking of it in terms of what have we learned personally and how can that, how will this make us more resilient in future and I'm delighted that Olivia Reams is going to be joining us as well to talk about that from on that perspective. We're going to be thinking about it from the educational perspective because obviously that's that's our game uh, all the time as well so thinking of it for what's happened in the education delivery uh, and I'm delighted that Rachel Williams will be joining us to talk about how medical education has what how it's changed how it's adapted assessment all those different sorts of things. We've got a randomized coffee trial in the just after lunch so a chance to actually speak to each other and and do all that networking which is one of the major things that's missing from it being a Zoom event rather than a face-to-face -face event. And it's lovely to see the, the cameras that are turning on. It's, it's really nice to see faces, but thank you very much for, for keeping muted. So we're gonna be having a randomized coffee trial so we can try and try and get some version of that networking and that, that catching up with each other on an individual basis. I'm really looking forward to that. And we're gonna round off with a, a session that, that really captures this feeling that's it's in the nation at the moment, a, a moment for reflection, the shut up, shut up and reflect session that we're having a uh, last thing in the in the afternoon with Alison Mackay. I'm really looking forward to that because I don't think any of us, I'm, I'm going to correct that, I know I don't take enough time for reflection often, so it's about having a little space for that just to pause and think well what have I heard today or what else do I need to take on board, so we're very pleased to be uh, incorporating a, a shut up and reflect session a good CPD, maybe something to, to take away and to, to reflect on as well. 